Hey crafters, it's Kathy from Scrap and Bean, and this week I wanted to share with you sticky specks. I have been using them, and they were used in a previous video, so if you watched the long video, you've seen them, these in use, but I wanted to make something short that was just focused in on these sticky specks because it's such a great adhesive for so many different items. So we're just going to focus on that today. So what these are is a sheet. You get several sheets in a pack and there's this clear protective sheet and when you when you pull it up this is a whole bunch of little sticky specks. They're just little micro dots that are all sticky and the benefit of this is that it'll stick behind little tiny things like say the sentiment. So when you peel back this clear sheet and you expose all of these stickies, you can see it's already sticking to there. You just put your piece of paper in this case, put this down and you rub it. And then when you pull this out again, this is now, maybe I'll use some tweezers. This has now become a sticker. And might I say a fairly strong sticker. You can see it's just sticky, sticky, sticking. Sticking to there really well. So now I can put this down on my project and this isn't really a project for me it's just a scrap of paper but something to show and you can see I can pull it up again so you get a little bit of time to manipulate not a lot but you do get some time to manipulate it to get it to go where you want and there you go. Now I do find that there is um, sometimes, especially when you open a brand new sheet like this, you get some of those little cheese strings of adhesive on there and you can feel them when you're on top here. You can kind of feel the sticky. So what this manufacturer suggests is that you take an um, adhesive eraser and that'll pull it right off. I have also found that if you just leave it sit, it just kind of the sticky disappears so you're fine. You can just leave it too. But I wanted to show you this on some other surfaces. And let me just zoom in here so you can see closer what we're working on. I'll try to keep that in. So I wanted to try it on something heavier like chipboard. So, you know, fairly thick. And I actually did that on a card that we were making not too long ago in our... Uh, make and take that we were doing in the store. I used it on this piece of chipboard and I found that when you first put it down you are able to pull it back up again just like you can with paper but once it's sat there for a while it's it's adhered. So there we go it's in the sticky. It's super sticky. And there you go and it's stuck. Yeah, like it's it's not gonna slide. Well, you could you could pull it up. Yeah, I can pull it up. But once it's there for a few minutes, like I don't know, maybe five minutes, then it's it's gonna be there for permanent. So this is great when you have all these little teeny pieces that we use in our die cuts now. I can even in this one here, let's try with just a piece of it. So we'll just put that tip in there. Sticks. So you can leave part of it, you know, flapping up like butterfly wings. I often do it with only keep part of it down. So that works. So when you're building these little pieces, oh, look how slick that is. I didn't even have to press it down with that clear coat on top. Okay, what about um, these teeny tiny, I don't know if you can see that even little dot right here. A 
will that work? I think I'm I think I'm getting a little ridiculous now. A little teeny tiny little piece of something. You can set it right in the middle of my flower. Huh. Okay, so that works too. So really it's kind of doesn't matter how small you go. I have some tiny, tiny little circle die cuts on here. And this is kind of um, more of out of a plastic. So press that in there, pull it back up. Works on plastic stuff. Okay, so I wanted to show you, we experimented the other day with this where I have the vellum is just flapping here. It's adhered farther down. And one of the, uh, one of our customers in the store and says, hey, would this work on vellum and hide behind it? And you know what? It kind of does. So this is a little trickier because I've already got the vellum attached to my card at this end. But I'm just going to see if I attach it at this end, you know, just to show you that it can hide underneath. So if we put this in there, press over the top. Let's see if I can do that without tearing my vellum or something. I should try these things without going live, right? And push it down. And yeah, it's hidden. Can I tell where the vellum starts and stop? Or the adhesive? No, I can't. So I can't even tell where the the adhesive under here stops. It just all looks the same. So that's great. It's a good thing for vellum. And now I'm really going to put it to the test. And I haven't tried this before. But this is an absolute clear piece of um, very, very thin acetate. So let's just try that. Let's take a piece of it. Not necessarily even straight. And put that into our sticky specks here. And I'll just put half of it because I want to be able to see. I want to test if you can tell where the adhesive stops. Well, it's definitely sticky. And we'll just stick it down on our card here. And I would say yes, you can tell you can tell which end got sticky. I don't know. I got to zoom out. I can't really tell where my camera is there. Ooh. Okay, so you probably can't even see the acetate on the camera either. But here's here's where the adhesive stops and this I just left flapping. And you can, you can, you can tell. It's, it's not bad though. So that's an interesting way to put it behind there, yeah. So I'll leave this um, in the store that you can come in and check that out and just see what it's like on different surfaces. Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna pull that back up. It's gonna hold it down for sure. But yeah, what a great adhesive. So pick up some of these next time you're in sticky specs. We have quite a few of them in both of our locations as well as online under sticky specs. Happy crafting and here's a way to get your crafts to stick.